A new study is people talking about sepsis. It's an extreme reaction to an infection that can lead to organ failure or even death. More than 1.5 million Americans experience the illness, and there are cases in New York State. And the most right here in western New York and the Finger Lakes region. We just thought it was a stomach bug. Four years ago, Jean Hopkins' 14-year-old daughter Riley came home with a stomach ache and a slight fever. Hours later, her daughter felt worse. Something just told me she needs to go to urgent care. The doctors found out Riley had sepsis. They couldn't get her blood pressure up. The infection had gone that quick. Riley was among the 1.5 million Americans with sepsis. Excellus Blue Cross Blue Shield released new numbers today based off a 2017 study. Regarding hospital admissions, our region is at the top, with Western New York at almost 9,000 people admitted to the hospital with sepsis, and the Finger Lakes region at almost 5,000, compared to Central New York with less than 2,500. Most cases you never hear about because the body does a, a great job of defending against it. But that doesn't mean our region is more sick or unhealthy than upstate New York. Medical experts say new tracking mechanisms for sepsis play a key role. I think our awareness in our health systems around our community are, are such that uh, we identified earlier and potentially uh, result in better outcomes. Four years later, Hopkins still thanks local doctors for providing her daughter a full recovery. The most people at risk for sepsis are the elderly, very young, or those with weak immune systems. And signs can include fever, shivering, or an elevated heart rate. Experts say if you have such symptoms, to see your doctor.